Hey Byte Shifters! In this video, let's explore the Draw Navigation module of React Navigation 5.x. So first we have to install the module. So I have copied, pasted and installed it in my, uh, in my terminal. And I'm just going to run it now. And the, by the time it loads up, uh, let me get you familiar with the code that we have. Uh, we have a standard splash screen which has nothing but uh, replace navigation from this screen to the login screen. We have the login screen next which is again doing a replace on the home screen. Okay, this is how we are landing up to the home screen. Home screen has no buttons and no navigations as of now. So what is the desired behavior in this video? Let us uh, just go through it. So what we want to do here is uh, we want the home screen to come as a drawer okay so it will come into the home screen and we'll have screen 1 screen 2 okay which can be uh, navigated from the home screen so it is kind of a nested uh, nested uh, setup here uh, and we are going to just explore it how it works so uh, after I think it has launched the application we're going to uh, do that but by the time let's set up screen 1 and 2 so I'm just going to copy and screen 1.js uh, similarly let's create another screen called screen 2 so screen 2.js so this is a live scenario right because um, in my development experience also I've uh, faced this thing like uh, once you go and land to the home page you should have a drawer navigator which is going to give you all the options you can go from the home screen like services or some other screen and stuff like that so uh, let's copy paste the home screen content here in screen 1 and similarly we're going to copy this in screen 2 and we're just going to rename it to screen 2 and this will be screen 2 again screen 1 and this is again screen 1 let's name it to screen 1 again and this will be screen 2 so this is just simple setup here nothing uh, fancy which I've done here so let's go ahead and import these two routes in the our routing logic which is residing in something called as um, app.js so here we're going to uh, import both of them but before we do that uh, let's import the drawer navigation so how are we going to import it uh, we just need to use this import statement and we have three kind of uh, two kind of navigators here one is a stack navigator and we are nesting a draw navigator inside the stack navigator let's see how we're going to do that so let's create the drawer object also like we did for stack navigator and this is all set up okay so all we need to do here is uh, create our routes for the drawer screens so in order to do that let's uh, copy paste this helpful code out here we're just going to copy the function so we copied this let's call this um, uh, drawer routes and inside of it what we're going to do is uh, initial route can be home that's fine home screen we have our component called as home right because this is the one that we declared earlier and similar to this what we are going to do is we are going to uh, have two more screens inside it one is going to be screen 1 this is going to be screen 2 screen 1 screen 1 it should give me some hint screen 1 and screen 2 so it should have auto imported screen 1 also let's do it manually this is screen 1 okay looks good 
and what we need to do next is uh, we want when you go to home we want the stack navigator to point to the draw routes instead so this is what we are expecting so once you come into the home screen we want to load the drawer routes this is the configuration that we want now um, it should work let's go ahead and see our app so this is it and let's reload it to make sure we have the changes uh, reflecting in the app so go to login uh, let's try that let's go to home now okay okay so we are hit with the roadblock it says normally you need to only uh, one container of the route to the app so this was probably an error so navigation container is not required because we have already defined our navigation container all we need to do is create our drawer routes right so this was a mistake uh, let's see uh, this time this time it should work So let's go to log and let's go to home and boom here it is so ideally we have configured screen one and two I'm sorry this is I think some emulator issue so screen one and screen two so we can navigate from our home screen to two possible other screens and this is how we're going to do that so this is it. This is uh, the demo of the drawer navigation. Hope you liked it. We can make it further more com uh, like we can make it more complex and as per the use case you can tweak it. It's all there in the React Navigation documentation. How can you um, override the view that you're seeing when you actually drag this so you can totally customize the behavior. You can make it open from right to left rather than left to right which we have done by default and a lot of uh, other options are there so you can go through it and if you if you find something which you find uh, which you want some help for so you can comment in the video and I'll be happy to help you. so that's it for now thank you see you in the next video we're going to talk about the tab navigator um, so tab navigator is not that much uh, of of use but still in most of the applications like uber and all they use a tab navigator so that's a good to know feature so we'll discuss that in the next video so goodbye for now thank you